sorry so here i have created the project called button example so first of all in the xml layout let me create a button so uh, the text view default what we are having we are deleting it and i'm going to create a button so here i have a button i'm taking the button and double click on the button so it's going to edit the text and id so text i'm giving click me and id i'm giving underscore click me so that uh, remember ids we need to give unique uh, so in this way we are giving the ids uh, it's your choice how to give the id button underscore click me click me button like that you need to give the id to identify very easily in the java code enter so that here button is created and the text is click me the id is button underscore click me and this is the code for uh, code for the button uh, it was generated and we need to go to the java code and in the java code these methods are useless here so we are deleting these methods why because right now we are not having any work with these methods these methods uh, we have we have a three methods on create on create options menu on options item selected these three methods are going to generate whenever you are selecting the template blank activity so this uh, on create method we know it's uh, it's necessary method to create an activity so that we are not going to delete this on create method and if you come to another two methods called on create options menu and on options item selected method these two methods we are using the cons uh, we are using the purpose of menus so whenever you want to use the menus concept then only we are going to use these two methods so that we are deleting these two methods every time until unless we are have a requirement of the menus now uh, one simple logic we need to remember that in the xml we have a button and the button tag is button only see always the tag names looks like a class names why because in the java code we have a exactly same classes are available so that so we need to write an action for the button so in java code we have a class called button so this view we are calling in the java code using references so this button reference we are calling there and the view has been referred by the same class called the button class so we need to come to the java code we already discussed in the project structure what are the views you are creating here they are going to generate the references under r java through r java only we are going to call the views now so these view ids are going to generate under R class in that again inner class is the ID class in that it is going to generate the IDs. So we'll come to the main activity. See simple. What are the references you call? You see the tag names exactly same classes are available in the Java code. We'll come to the main activity and we'll take the class button class and click me button equal to and uh, we need to use the type test here. Why? Because we are going to call the reference, the button reference, using the method find view by id. Find view by id method, you will see it is going to return the view object. That's why uh, that view we need to convert to the specific to button class. That's why we are using the type casting called button. So here we need to call the button id so that r dot id dot and uh, our button id is button underscore click me select it. Now so we got a button reference that means one of the view from the xml file we call here using the button class now now we need to listen action whenever user clicks the button for that we are using the interface called on click listener interface so that interface we need to register for our button so button object dot we have a method to register the button for the interface that is set on click listener inside we need to provide the implementation for the button so i'm saying this this in the sense we are referring the current class so that this interface will be implement in the current class so we need to come to the current class and you can say implements on click on click listener right on click listener and it is having the unimplemented method so click here and select implemented methods it's going to add an implemented method called on click method so whenever you click this button the interface is going to call and on click method is going to execute still we got an error right android dot uh, set on click listener cannot be applied why 
so, sorry the interface it is taken from the dialog interface it's not dialog interface it's only on click listen so to delete this one and uh, control alt o organizing imports remove save control alt o otherwise control shift o fine we need to import the interface on this error again we will import it on click listener second one see first one is uh, from dialog interface but we should not use that one we need to use the on click listener for the uh, anet dot view package dot view class so select this now we need to click on this error and uh, say add an implemented method so here we got a method called on click method so whenever you click this button this on click method is going to execute but right now whenever we click the button we want to know whether the button is working or not so we should have some kind of behavior uh, that we should see for that purpose we use the notification concept so here we are going to use the concept of toast notification so toast notification in a sense it will display one message for particular time so which message it, dis it should display and uh, how much time the duration it should display that we need to pass the information to the toast class and using show method we are showing it so that we are using the toast class and we have a method called make text method in that first parameter should be the context context here context class is a super class for a activity class so context means here the current activity information or current application information so that this method is trying to get some uh, current application information so that one we need to pass uh, in the form of context class so here we need we can return the context in three ways using this keyword if you are using uh, the context reference in the director class method you can use the this keyword why because it will return the current activity called main activity for uh, main activity super class is the context so that uh, you can say this or otherwise you, uh, you can use the get application context why because this is this keyword is not going to work in all the way so that whenever you have inner classes so that there you can use the get application context or otherwise directly you can refer the class name called main activity dot this i'm saying this and second one is the char sequence text in a sense the message what we are displaying that one we should pass as a string object so that i'm saying that button is working and third one is duration so you can display the duration uh, in 5000 milliseconds or 3000 milliseconds that means 5 seconds or 3 seconds so those uh, duration values 3 seconds and 5 seconds are already defined as a constant in the toast class so that you can call them as a toast dot length underscore longer length underscore short so i'm selecting length, length underscore long and finally call the show method to show the toast save it and to get the code format you can say control plus alt plus here and run the application So be careful here, uh, whenever you are implementing the interface, make sure that that interface is from the uh, view class. So in the view class, again, this is the interface and the interface, and uh, that package should be view. So from there only you need to use the interface. Why? Because we have uh, two interfaces with the same name called on -click listener. Uh, one more is from the dialog interface. So whenever we are working with the dialogs, at that time we are going to uh, use that interface. Right now here we need to use the view.onClickListener. still it is compiling and so here we have an output let us check it out so i'm um, click the button and you'll see it is displaying the toast that is button is working thank you for watching this video if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel below and uh, you can visit my blog called ram standard uh, for all dot box plot in so to check uh, more videos and more and code and applications so all maximum all concept source code is available in my blog so you can use that code uh, in your uh, applications whenever you are developing so you can use visit this blog and below uh, the links i have given for the source code thank you for watching we will meet in the next video